Hey guys, welcome back to the greenhouse. Um, today we're going to be potting up um, those pansies that I showed you a few weeks ago that were literally like this big um, that my mom um, pulled out of the germination tray and potted into um, six packs for me. Thanks mom. Um, she said, I wanted to have her come down again and help around because this was like um, a lot of help, but grab your coffee or tea and let's hang out. I thought that, um, I don't, I don't know, um, what variety these are because I just got a, um, a seed pack, uh, that it's a mix. So maybe, um, a single variety and just all the colors, or it could be, many different varieties I don't I don't know I've never grown them from seed before um, but I pulled this one out and I thought oh um, it got really tall and stretched because it was underneath the um, rain barrel and it was shaded there but it's um, not a pansy it's a tomato plant <laughs> I have them growing everywhere and on in all of my pots because I just use the I just use compost and um, I don't heat, my doesn't heat up because it doesn't get sun all day. Um, compost to kill weeds and seeds and stuff like that needs to heat up to a certain um, point and then it kills all of that stuff. So I just do what they call a cold um, compost pile and it still breaks down. It just takes a lot longer than if it was the traditional, you know, big pile of steaming, um, compost, but it works just fine. And I get lots of, um, volunteers. I love it. <laughs> I just love volunteers and I never kill them. So, um, I'm potting up some, um, these are actually called pans, um, where they're wide and sh uh, short those are traditionally they grow um, mums in them in the fall um, I'm gonna pot them up with pansies they do use them for pansies as well but typically you see them for mums and a couple of small hanging baskets and then we'll see how many more how many I have that um, are big enough to pot on I mean I've got some pretty tall ones um, I was going to wait because there's a bunch that have blooms and I thought that I would want to, um, I can't see the colors yet. So I kind of wanted to, you know, maybe plant all of the white ones and, um, maybe red and orange ones together for fall, but they're just getting way too big and, um, it's just not going to happen. So I'll pot them on and, um, they'll just be a rainbow mix and, who doesn't love a rainbow? <laughs> I noticed that um, they're br they're really starting to branch um, as well. And I know in the garden centers, um, we're used to seeing pansies in the spring. Um, oh, it's raining. <laughs> why we're in the greenhouse uh, it's been nothing but rain all week it's crazy um, oh so I was saying um, you typically see them in the greenhouses and um, in the spring um, and they do great in the spring they're a nice cool weather crop but um, they're great for fall planting um, because that way you get um, the benefit of them being perennial. These really are really hardy. Um, so you can plant them two ways. If you plant them in the spring, they're considered an annual because not so much here in the Northeast as um, other parts of the country, but sometimes we get some good humid days in the, you know, August. Um, they tend to peter out and then maybe they might have another good flush in the fall when it starts to cool off um but um 
it's not, it's not great, you know, they're, so if you plant them in the spring, they tend to just be a spring flower and then, um, people dig them up or maybe they might keep them and they don't look so hot or whatever, cut them back, fertilize them. Um, and they may get a, like I said, another flush, a, you know, these okay flush, but if you plant them in the fall, they'll flower for you all fall and into, um, winter. Um, they don't really freeze and die back. Um, they'll get covered up with the snow and that's great. Um, that's extra fertilizer, uh, for <laughs> insulation. <laughs> um, the snow will actually help them so that they, um, don't freeze and die. Um, if you have a winter, like the last few that we didn't get much snow to cover anything, they may die, but, um, they will come back in the spring and um, if they come back three years, then they're considered a perennial. So pansies are um, an annual, they are a biennial, and they're also considered a perennial. <laughs> so a pansy can be all three categories of what we generally um, categorize um, plants. Uh, and I would say flowers, but sometimes we consider vegetables um, in those things, uh, categories as well. I mean, rhubarb, that's a perennial. So, I'm excited to see these, um, flower and see what colors I get. I mean, I don't, I can't think of any other flower that comes in every single color that you can think of. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't, I can't think of anything. It's really raining. I think it even might be thundering. <laughs> I'm thinking, um, that I might do four or five in each pot. Um, they're about the same size. Um, I measured them across and they're, um, the pans and the um, hanging baskets are both eight inch. Um, so I think I can probably do five in each. I mean, look at those. I mean, this is a tomato. <laughs> those things are growing everywhere. I swear. Oh, I even have a mealworm <laughs> in my compost. They're a little floppy. Um, I may need to get some more compost in. I even have some ash um, still hanging around that I put in the compost from um, one of the fires last summer. Um, as long as you don't have um, anything, you know, like metal that didn't burn. I mean, you could put it in the compost, but I don't want to cut myself or anything. Um, if I have a good clean fire where it's just wood, I'll throw the ash from the fire pit in the compost bin. I'm, that's it's potash is a wonderful fertilizer. This tomato is making me laugh so much. I'm 
not sure what else I got in there for weeds, but yeah, I think I guess now um that looks pretty good. I think I'll just do four. I wasn't sure until I got them planted um, how many I was going to to do in a pot. Um, I don't even know how long these will take. I'm assuming um, probably four weeks um, cause I think these are at the size now that a nursery would get them in and pot them up into um, hanging baskets or um, pots or however three inch pots or um, mum pans or however they were going to sell them for um, spring. You can find some um, in the greenhouses around here in the fall but fall gardening isn't really popular here in the United States as it is in England and um, Ireland and over in Europe um, they plant in the fall and it's a common thing I see it more um, with maybe a fall vegetable garden you know then people might do another round of broccoli or some carrots or I find those things grow better in the fall um, and quick, quicker because the days are really nice and warm and then you get those nice cool nights and cold weather vegetables and flowers that's what they love and sometimes spring um, comes on qu comes quick you know it's um the snow melts and you know you're 70 degrees and then the next day it's 95 which we just had that like two weeks ago <laughs> so um, but then we're now we're back down to below um, normal temperatures and it's been rainy and um, it's been a miserable week but I, I'm glad that I have the greenhouse to get out here and and I can work in the greenhouse and do things that um, you know can be done inside I guess like potting up but um, yeah this is going to be fun and um, a growing learning experience um, I'll take you along. Um, I plan on doing a garden tour uh, here at some point this weekend. I have a, my driveway nursery is going to be open. Um, so if you're in the area, stop on by. I still have some um, things for sale. Um, not a lot. It's limited, but you know, I'll keep planting and sowing and Whatever comes available, I'll put out by the road all season long, up until snow. <laughs> it's been a lot um, more successful this year um, with the driveway nursery. I just have a table out there with some um, seedlings, um, just to try to keep my hobby going <laughs> and um, keep going on YouTube. Um, it does cost me money to um, do these things so uh, anything can help like and share um, that also helps you're not you don't have to buy anything but that definitely helps me um, and it tells uh, YouTube uh, that you like what I'm posting and it helps me just you know know what people like um, I'm just over here just posting away and I don't know if anybody likes what I'm showing um, comment uh, below and let me know of other things that you want to see um, that will help I have um, let's see some pumpkins that need to be planted um, a million of them I think I'm gonna be a pumpkin farmer this year um, that's pretty interesting they're supposed to be like Atlantic um, giants I don't think that I'm going to get a thousand pounder but that's what they're supposed to be <laughs> I don't know but that'll be fun to see how big I can get some pumpkins I just plan on getting some um, 
big ones and if I get a 10 pounder I'll be happy um, my little nephew I'm sure will think that that's like the funnest thing to carve the big pumpkin um, yeah so um, I can't wait to see you guys next time in the greenhouse and um, like I said like and share and we'll see you next time